Over in the West Adams Shopping Center in the Meadows neighborhood, many people experienced damage that shook their emotions and threatened their livelihood. Six News spoke to a store owner who was taking stock of her business today and a few neighbors who are really still in shock. Six News reporter Andrea Uribe shares their experiences with us tonight. I feel numb. I just feel numb. Like, I can't believe this happened on Adams. Like, I, I just can't believe this happened. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Trapped in her own store, Howard recalls what she believed to be her last moments. I run to the back and I grab the two dogs and I get in the bathroom. Then I call my daughter and she gets on the phone and then she says, Mommy, you're okay. And I peeked out the, the door and there's no roof. Like the whole thing is gone. And then the hail. And I kept telling them, I'm going to die today. In the Meadows neighborhood, people could not believe their eyes, but just couldn't look away from the damage being done. It was scary. I know I told my husband and my daughter, y'all get in the hall. And I came to the front door with my phone trying to see what was going. And I could see Connie's roof and Miss Lori's roof just flying through the air. It, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking yep. um, to see somebody, your neighbor, just completely lose. I mean, she's she lost has everything. everything. She's lost everything. Now the community begins their long, hard journey to recovery from what seemed impossible in Temple. My, my house is demolished. Everything inside it. So it's sad. It's sad. I hope the community can come together and like help each other because I mean, we don't, this doesn't happen in Temple, and it happened. For Six News, I'm Andrea Uribe. It's truly